This is heavily concentrated in black and brown communities and women have three to four times higher rate of mortality than women who are not women of color. So think about that, process that. And then the question is, what are you going to do about it? Well, the question is about maternal health and the crisis being faced in black and brown communities. Now, Governor Kathy Hochul is announcing efforts to improve infant and maternal health across New York State by making prenatal care more accessible and more affordable for all women. Joining me in studio now is Dr. Julie Sosa, an obstetrician gynecologist with General Physician PC. We want to thank you so much for coming in thank studio you. and joining me. This news really comes as no surprise to you, does it? It does not. Talk to me about these disparities. Why is it happening? It's a multifact multifactorial issue. Uh, we have issues of access to adequate care. We have folks who may have pre predispositions with health problems before where they may, have been, not, may not have been seeing a physician, and as a result, they're unable to get, um, as a result, they're at higher risk for different medical problems. Issues such as access to good housing, healthy food, transportation, all contribute to the fact that uh, when a person finally arrives in a hospital, all these things prior to arriving mm. to the hospital have contributed to their health, and then we get to the hospital and they, may have issues of high blood pressure, which at that point we're dealing with in that moment. However, these are things that may, that we perhaps could be dealing with prior to that. Right, and that mm -hmm. can be life or death, right? Exactly. For the mother as well mm -hmm. as the baby. Um, with, will the state allowing 20 hours now of mm -hmm. paid time off for prenatal visits, mm -hmm. have you found that that will really help uh, especially women in black and brown communities and really all communities if yeah. women are getting this because sometimes we're finding women they just don't want to take their time off they can't afford to lose money exactly and I really wouldn't put it on on the patients on the birthing parents uh, we don't necessarily have laws uh, employment laws that allow for women to take time off so this is actually very critical to give women the time to to leave their jobs without losing that necessary income and get the care they need. Um, but that's just one step. Other important factors perhaps would be access to remote care. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes they may have childcare concerns where they're unable to leave to other children at home. Uh, but perhaps if we could do virtual visits, which we were able to do during COVID, uh, those may also help with access to care. We're hearing yeah. the word doula so much more yeah. now than mm -hmm. we've ever ha heard before. Um, will the option of having a doula and Medicaid paying for, mm -hmm. is that gonna be helpful? Yeah, uh, again, this issue is complex. It is multifactorial and doulas are a critical part of it. They provide excellent support in the prenatal time while on labor and delivery during birthing and also postpartum. Uh, doulas, though they're not clinical, they have the presence of a doula in your care has been shown to reduce the rate of C-sections. Women show um, experience less traumatic birth experiences as a result. They feel more empowered, more self-involvement during birth, which can really make a difference in someone's stress level, in how they're even perceived on labor and delivery. They have that advocate for them there, and I think it's a really critical and important and necessary part that's, of care, yeah. That's very interesting hearing mm -hmm. it from you because you're in the room, so yeah. you obviously have seen what doulas can do. Advice that you may have, if mm -hmm. you can, as we wrap this up in the last 30 seconds, what advice do you have for pregnant women right now? Advocate for yourself as much as you can. Mm. Take a partner with you to visit. Sometimes a partner may remember things you didn't remember, but I also think it's critical that your doctor sees that there are multiple people, there's a coalition of folks who care for you and who we are also um, accountable to for your care. And in doing that, I think that is one aspect of being able to let your clinician know that my health is super important and I need you to take it as importantly as I do. This is all about saving the lives of women, especially our women who are pregnant at this particular yes. time. Dr. Julie Sosa, obstetrician, gynecologist with General Physician PC, thanks so much for coming in Thank you for on the 530. Me. We really appreciate it. Great information today. Coming up